Hello everyone, and in our last Lego investing video, we told you we were going to grow from zero to a six figure Lego investment business in three year. And that by the end of year one, we would invest £20,000 in Lego sets that are retiring. Now, after exceeding that target, we are now in preparation for year two. During year two, we plan to sell a minimum of 50% sets that we had purchased in year one to gain a net return on investment of 80%. To help us achieve this, we targeted as many retiring sets as possible so we could avoid tying up our capital. So, what was the original plan for year two? Invest another £20,000, reinvest £18,000 from sales from selling 50% of year one purchases, still hold 50% stock from year one, this will then give us a total of £48,000 invested before we even enter year three. Following the same plan during year three, we knew that we would have invested £91,000, so we were still £9,000 short of our target. So we were looking for an opportunity to close that £9,000 gap. And if you saw our last video, you would have known we went well above our budget of £20,000 for year one. And our finances are ruined. Christmas is around the corner. And what do I have to say for myself? I'm an idiot. In a last ditch attempt to save Christmas and avoid eating Christmas dinner on my own. I really had to accelerate the plan here to create a supplementary income rather than just buying and holding on these Lego sets while they retire. And after doing some research and exploring opportunities, I can honestly say, I've got a plan so cunning you could put a tail on it and call it a weasel. <laughs> so, Project Weasel is basically flipping Lego sets that are non-retiring and we have already got our trial run ready to go. In this video, we will show you the full story, including the sets that we have brought and what we expect to make in this. Project Weasel is basically flipping Lego sets that are non-retiring and we have already got our trial run ready to go. We will show you the full story, including what sets we have purchased. We will then add a segment in all future videos showing you our progress before eventually evaluating the profit, the time taken, and overall the effort from start to finish. And most importantly, did it save Christmas? Now, before we go any further and we share Project Weasel with you, we must remind you that we are not financial advisors and we are total idiots. If you choose to copy us, then well, you only have yourself to blame. So, Project Weasel is in essence identifying sets that we can purchase well below the current selling price on retail sites. We are not expecting to find sets that will give us a huge return on investment, but hopefully we can get somewhere in the region of 20 to 40% in a very short space of time. That being said, we managed to get some great discounted prices on our sets. We purchased from four retailers across the UK, and these were Sainsbury's, Argos, Asda, and Very. So let's start with the latter. I picked up a total of eight sets from Very, and I have the deliveries right here. So let's unbox and see what we find. So I picked up two of every set in here, so we'll only open the one bag. The first set that we have purchased is the Captain Rex helmet. Moving on to the second set. Now this one is not in its own box, so the quality might not be as good on this. As you can see, there is a small crease down the bottom of the box. But apart from that, it's in fairly good condition. And this is the Up House. Again, we purchased two of these. Moving on to the last set in here. We have purchased two of the Lego Harry Potter Expecto Petronium 2-in-1. And finally, the biggest set and the highest priced one that we have purchased is, but it is the Lego Technic MT-10 SP Motorbike. As you can see, this has come well packaged. So overall, the box is in very good condition. So what's great about ordering from Very at this stage are the boxes they are being shipped in. 
This is a topic we will go into much more detail with you and important how this plays a part in our strategy. So these sets, apart from the Lego Up House, are pre-packaged and ready to go. This is going to save us so much valuable time, but also keeping the cost down. Any idea how much it is to buy a box that is in the dimension of a small parcel? This is the actual cost that the post office will charge you for an empty box. Without looking, I think we have a total of 800 sets. So luckily we are not using this service, but if we did, we would add an additional £4,800 in additional costs. So that's important to do your research and once you've done your research, do it again and keep doing it. This way you will keep your costs down overall in the long term. So we're hoping that you learn from our future video covering these costs. And if you don't want to miss out, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Let's look at the prices that we paid for these sets. The Yamaha MT10 SP motorbike. This retails at £199.99. We managed to pick this up for just £129.99. Let's move it out of the way. The Up House has a retail price of £50 in the UK and we managed to purchase this for just £29.99. The Captain Rex, this retails for £60 and we managed to pick this up for £36.99. Finally, the Expecto Patronum 2-in-1 Harry Potter set. We, this has a retail price of £63 and we picked this up for £36.99. They were the sets we purchased from Very, and we actually got a further 10% cash back on all of these sets. So now the actual costs are, remember, if you are not using cashback salt but want to start saving, then we have the added links in the description below. And if you make a purchase using one of these links, you will get an additional bonus without any added cost. Moving on now to our next retailer, and this was Argos. We picked up three Optimus Prime sets, and it's fair to say we ended up with the good, the bad, and the ugly in terms of box conditions. From the comments in our last video, however, it doesn't seem like it's just us that is having the problems with Argos. However, with this set retailing at £160, we managed to get this reduced at £80. We then got a further £5 off each order using the email sign up promo, and then we got 10% back in cash back, and this was £7.50, so the actual cost of this set was £67.50 each. Whilst out doing the weekly shop, I managed to pick up three Indiana Jones and the Lost Tomb sets. These were reduced by £20 each and then we got an additional 5% off. So they actually cost £19 each. And this is from its £45 RRP. We also got one Harry Potter Room of Requirement, one Bugatti Belide, one NASCAR and all of these were marked up at £25 each. These all have an RRP of £45 and again I got 5% off which was an additional £1.25 on each set. So they all cost me £23.75. Finally, moving on to Asda, I got two bonsai trees and two orchids. Both sets have an RRP of £45 but both were reduced to £29. We also again got a further 10% cash back so the actual cost was £26.10. I actually can't show you any pics of these sets because we've actually sold a fair few in just the last couple of days. But I won't ruin the surprise as first of all I want to hear your opinions. What kind of return on investment do you think we will make? What particular sets do you think will do the best? Please let us know in the comments below. We can't wait to show you the results and we will also be doing a time in motion study to really calculate the value of flipping sets and see if we want to continue to build this into our model. We hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have then please let us know by smashing that like button and if you are not subscribed then please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Soon we will be showing you our 2023 spend but with these cheeky purchases we wanted to do a quick video to update you what we were doing. But this is a secret between us. Let's just say Operation Weasel is a go.